welcome back Marco here from the Blitz Guitar Academy. Uh, I am currently playing the CD60 Fender and I have to say this guitar is so cheap but it sounds awesome and I'm not getting paid for saying that okay so it's just the truth and I want to show you how to play this song okay uh, by uh, Joaquin Rodrigo is called Concerto di Aranguetz and it's an awesome song. Now what I'm going to show you today uh, it's a kind of rearrangement that I did of the song, okay? So it's not exactly the same thing. Uh, we had to rearrange a couple of things because the adagio is pretty long and this is like a combination of the two things. You know, you have the guitar and the orchestra kind of combine both things, okay? I'm going to show you exactly what I was playing. You can get access to the tab. Uh, check out my Patreon page. You can have access to this tab plus a ton of previous tab, okay, and the upcoming tabs, cool. So I'm sure that you check it out, you can also support this channel, you can subscribe if you want to, um, you know, just get update every time we uh, post a new video, I post a new video, and um, thank you so much for watching guys, let me show you how to play this song, and have an awesome day, I'll see you soon, okay. Alright, we have no capo, and we are in standard tuning, we're gonna start with an A minor chord, four times. Okay, it's very simple. Um, so you play, you put down an A minor chord, very basic chord, and you strum four times starting on the fifth string. One, two, three, and four. And then you have... That's the first phrase. And what I do here, I play the fifth open string and the second string fret number five simultaneously. Then I have on the second string fret number three and back to the fret number five. Okay, now what I do to make it a little bit more cool, I kind of anticipate the bass note a little bit. So it's not played simultaneously, but it's actually uh, right before I play the second string. And back to the A minor chord, strum it twice. Okay, so, and strum, and strum. And then I had this phrase. So once you strum the A minor twice, you're gonna go back on the second string and you have fret number five, then fret number six, okay? And then you have fret number eight. I use the first finger, so you wanna change position, okay? So you have five, six, eight, simultaneously with the, the third open string, okay? All right, so bottom. Then I have, be careful here, this is really challenging. The second string for number 10 and a pull off, okay? So, do this one more time slowly. Okay, and I go back to the fret number six, okay? So, now the difficult thing about this position, is that when you do the pull off and you play the fret number 10, you have to keep the G string, the third open string, ringing out. So it's easy to actually, you know, lightly touch the string with the third finger and uh, block it. So make sure that you don't do that. And you really, you know, control this finger when you do the pull off. Now, once you play the fret number six, you have exactly the same phrase and as we started, so fifth open, and then the second string fret five, fret three, and fret five again, okay? So the whole thing is sounds like that. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four. Okay? So after you do that, you have strum and strum. So it's again A minor twice. Then we have a different phrase. Okay. So what is that? Uh, all on the second string, I have fret five, six, eight. And I'm not really using anything like that. I like to, you know, use all my fingers. And so I have. Five, six, eight, with one, two, four. 
it's really important you should try keep the thumb straight down okay so so you have this phrase after the two strum two six, sorry five six eight and then I have this chord which is A minor and have the fifth open string third string fret number five first string fret number five plug that simultaneously and then the first string fret seven okay so A lot of vibrato, okay? All right, and then I have oh, What is that? It's a D minor chord and I have the fourth open string the third string fret 2 the second string fret 3 and the first string fret three, okay? I actually play this chord with the thumb. I just strum the whole thing. And, and then after that, I try to hold down the third and second string. And I play the first string fret number one. So I get rid of the little finger. Okay. And I have fret number three. Then the first string for number one, twice, and the first open string. And then one time I strum again with the first open. So. Okay. And then I have the second string for number three, for number one, for number three again. Okay. So, and the fourth open, all right, slowly, all right, so, um, Now after that, that's an awesome part. So I have the first open string, the second string fret number one, second open, okay, and I open up with this awesome chord. This is an F chord, F major chord. And I have the sixth string fret number one and the second string fret number two of one, okay, so it's one one. Um, sixth string fret number one, second string fret number one. Okay, so you come from in. Okay, now once you play them, you have the second string fret number three, second open, and the third string fret number two. Okay, and I'm trying to hold down the bass note. I'm gonna do one more time. You pluck that, one, one on sixth and second string. And then you have the second string fret number three, second open, and the third string fret number two. All right. finish with an E major chord which I strum all the way up to the second string so I don't want to touch the first string so I kind of control the thumb all the way up to the okay okay and I strum the E major twice E major chord is a very basic chord guys okay so you strum that twice two three and then I have Have a little phrase after the two strums. So the phrase is this one: the second string fret number one, second open, third string fret number two. Okay. And I strum again the E major. This time is a little bit. It's a little bit different than an E major chord. Okay. So it's like an E major chord, but the fourth string needs to go on fret three. 
and that really give you like kind of a Spanish Spanish chord still strummed all the way up to the second string yeah so uh, so you have E major twice phrase okay and then you finish okay so after you play this uh, E um, sharp nine uh, sorry flat nine chord you have the second string twice okay open then the second string fret number one okay and you have this beautiful chord again which is the uh, sixth open string the fourth string fret number three the third string fret number one and the second string fret number three Plug this simultaneously, even though I really like to, you know, roll, like quickly roll my fingers and so I have thumb, index, middle, ring really quickly on the sixth, fourth, third, and second string. So then the second string fret three twice more, second string fret one. Second open, okay, and I finish with an A minor chord, which is a little bit different than an A minor. But I want to quickly recap so you come from here. Now, when you finish on the A minor, it's actually a uh, add nine chord. So you have the fifth open, the fourth string fret two, the third string fret two, and the second open. And I strum again all the way up to the second string. So I strum this chord. Then I have the third string fret two and the second string fret number one. Okay, so. Right. Then A add nine again, all the way up to the second string. I strum, and then again all the way up to the third string. Okay, so. So that's the whole thing, the first part, okay? Take it step by step, guys. Now guys, this is the first part, and now I'm gonna show you how you can spice up the melody a tiny little bit, okay? You can add a few things to this uh, thing, and then we move on to the second part. So, if you wanna spice up the melody, uh, there are two parts where you can really add some extra notes, and the first one is the beginning. So when you play the first chord, rather than strum the A minor twice, you can stay in that position and really play, you know, kind of play around with just three notes, okay? And uh, and so you play the first part, then you have on the second string six five three five six five three five, and I kind of playing this. I play with these three notes, okay? It's not that I play every time the same thing. Uh, you can change the rhythm, you know, a little bit every time you play. You can kind of, you know, play along with it. And it's an awesome way to spice up the melody. And then, and then you play the melody exactly as you learn it, which is the simple way. So there's one point here at the really beginning, uh, where you can play with these three notes. And then you can play the whole thing through. That's the same. We keep that the same. That's the same. And uh, on this E major, you can uh, here spice up the melody as well. So once you're coming from the F, you strum one time. 
and you can play these uh, four notes. So the second string fret number one, second open, third string fret number two, and the second open. So after you strum the E, so you know, like rather than strum the E major twice, you just strum one time and then you play it with these four notes. And then you keep going. So very simple, just two different parts, okay? The first one is on the A minor, and the second one is on the E major. Okay? Um, but you can keep the same if you want, you don't have to. Just a quick tip to, you know, spice up the melody. Now, let's move on to the second part of the song.